All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over the Facebook pixel and custom conversions on Facebook. So basically how to add the Facebook pixel to your website and how to create custom conversions that you can optimize for in your campaigns. So this is a really important part of Facebook ads and really how to get the most out of your Facebook ads campaigns. So I'm here in Business Manager. If you're not familiar with how to use Facebook ads or how to set everything up, they have a ton of great guides online. I would highly recommend setting up a business manager account. If you just do a quick Google search, create Facebook business manager, uh, it's a very simple process to get started. They have guides from start to finish so you can create your own business manager. So I have my Surfside PPC business manager here. I have separate ad accounts for each individual page that I manage. Um, so what I'm gonna do is click into my Surfside PPC ad account here. So what you want to do now is click on the drop down menu in the top corner and go to all tools and we're going to come over to pixels here. So Facebook's made it a lot easier to install the Facebook pixel on your website and also integrate really any type of website that you're running. So it really doesn't matter the platform that you're using. So I have my pixel here. I have it on my website and the only event that I'm really tracking on Surfside PPC is page views. So what that means is every time someone goes to a different page, the pixel is going to receive an event. So you can track different events for your own website. It really depends on what your goals are. And then when you're tracking events, so something like page view, what you can do is set up a custom conversion here. So I'll go through that in a little bit. Um, but what you want to do is if you don't have your pixel here, you want to click on add a new data source and you can do Facebook pixel, offline event set or app events. So if either of these apply to your business, you can use those as well as different data sources. Um, and then you're able to use them as conversions in any of the campaigns that you're running. So we're going to click on Facebook pixel here. So it's going to look something like this when you're creating your new Facebook pixel, you're going to name it, you can enter your website URL and you can click on create and it's going to look just like this one over here. So now we have our Facebook pixel and the main thing you want to do is add it to your website. So what you can do to make it very easy is just, is just come to partner integrations here and you can click on any of these different partners for Facebook. Uh, so there's a lot of different options here. Pretty much any type of website that you run is going to be a Facebook partner. So we scroll down here a little bit. You can see Shopify. Um, you can see Big Commerce. You can see some of these really top e-commerce providers here. We scroll down a little bit more. They have website platforms, so WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, uh, some other popular options there as well. And then they have some CRM and marketing software. You can connect directly to your Google Tag Manager account. So I would highly recommend just going directly through one of the partner integrations. Because for example, let's just say we click something like Shopify here. So what you can do is just connect your Facebook Apics your Facebook pixel and connect your account to your Shopify account and it's going to import every different type of Shopify conversion there is. So everything from add to cart, uh, someone adding their payment info, and most importantly, you can track online purchases and online purchase value. So just go directly through partner integrations after you create your data source, which is going to be your Facebook pixel. And what it's going to be able to do is allow you to set up all sorts of different custom conversions for your business. So if we click on custom conversions here, what you can see is we have our conversion right here. So you can have 100 custom conversions for your, uh, your each individual ad manager. So what we can do is come over here and click on create custom conversion. And now you can see it's gonna use our Surfside PPC pixel. As long as yours is green over here, then you know that it's actually on your website properly. If we come to our website event, it's gonna say all URL traffic, and then we can do URL contains. And let's just say, for example, every time someone visits, a specific page like thank you so that's all you need to do is URL contains thank you and then it's going to count that as a conversion you would name your conversion you can select it as a lead here um, so if we come right here you could do lead uh, there's a few different options so now let's just say for example on Surfside PBC let's say I'm selling tickets to something let's say I'm running some event I'm selling tickets for ten dollars each what I can do is URL contains, and let's say the page goes to ticket confirm after someone purchases their ticket. So all I need to do is something like that. You don't even necessarily need the backslashes, but let's just say I know someone buys a ticket from my website and they're going to be automatically redirected to this page that has ticket confirm there. So then I can scroll down here. I can name my conversion as something like tickets or ticket sales, and then I can do select a category. I can come here and I can go to purchase 
and then you can enter a value for each individual purchase. So if I know every ticket sale is worth $10, then the value is gonna be $10. I can click on create, and it's gonna create a brand new conversion here called ticket sales, and I can actually optimize for that in my campaigns. So it's a very simple process to create custom conversions, um, and you can just use these different URLs here. And again, if you connect your partner integrations, then you're gonna be able to use the custom conversions they already have set up, like purchases, um, ticket sales, if it's one of those types of websites. Um, so any of those different options, it's very easy to use. Just apply it to your own business, and any, any type of partner that you're using here um, is gonna have guides as well for, for how to do that. Now, what you wanna do with your Facebook Pixel is let's just say, for example, you're running a WordPress website. So we can click on our Pixel here, and it's gonna open up that, something that looks just like this. You can test different events. Um, you can go to diagnostics and make sure everything is working properly. So right now it says there are no issues with your pixel. And we can come over here to settings as well. And you can look at just some different ideas with your pixel. So they have advanced matching here. Um, you can set up specific events like add to cart. So if they don't have the partner integration for you, you can set up specific things where an event trigger, if the button text is add to cart on your website, you can easily set that up and you just click here, go to event setup tool, and it's gonna say enter the specific URL where you'd like to track events. You enter your URL and you can easily set up new events. So if there's anything that one of these partners doesn't allow you to do, you can set using this form right here. So we're gonna click on cancel now. We're gonna come over here to overview. And what we can do is if we click on setup here, you can do install pixel. So if I click on install pixel, again, you can connect a partner platform. That's what I'd highly recommend doing. You can email instructions if you have a developer working on your website, or if you wanna manually install the pixel code yourself, you would click right through here. So what we did was we went to the pixel, we clicked on our pixel and we came over here to setup. And now we can do manually install the pixel code yourself. Okay, so what it's showing here is to find the opening and closing head tags in your web page code. So if you're running a WordPress website, there's a few different ways to accomplish this. So we can copy our pixel right here. Now a couple different popular WordPress plugins. So one is pixel your site. I've used this in the past. You can install it with your Facebook pixel, Google Analytics. Um, so they have head and footer, so you can add different tags there. Or you can use something like insert headers and footers. Um, so I'm gonna be using this for my example here. So what you can do is just download and install this specific WordPress plugin. And then when you come into WordPress, you can see settings here. They have insert headers and footers. So there's scripts in header right here. Um, so all you need to do is copy and paste your Facebook pixel code, come over here, click on save. And it's that simple. Now you've added the Facebook pixel to your website. Now, if you wanna be 100% sure that the Facebook pixel is on your website, one thing you can install is a free Chrome plugin, Facebook Pixel Helper. Uh, it's offered directly from Facebook. Um, so I have it on my Google Chrome. So if I come over to my website here, so you just open up your website and this is what it looks like right here. So it's the Facebook Pixel Helper. You can click on it and it's gonna say one pixel found on surfsidepbc.com. The pixel ID matches our pixel ID. So very simple process to add the Facebook Pixel to your website. And then you're able to create audiences based on your Facebook pixel. You're able to create custom conversions based on that pixel. So you really wanna make sure you add it to your website. Now the other option is if we open up Google Tag Manager. So you go to tagmanager.google.com. You can easily install the Facebook pixel using Tag Manager. Um, so what you can do is just come in here and add a new tag. You can name your tag. Facebook pixel. You don't want to add it twice, obviously. So if you've added it the other way, you don't need to do this as well. Um, there are some benefits to using Google Tag Manager though. Um, so if we click on tag configuration, we click on custom HTML tag. All we need to do is copy and paste that Facebook pixel here. Um, you can come into advanced settings and say tag firing options once per event. And then you can do a trigger and it's going to be all pages. So anytime someone views any page, it's going to it's gonna what's called trigger this tag so that the Facebook pixel will track each individual page view. So all we need to do is click on add here and then we have Facebook pixel, we've added our custom HTML tag. There's a few different things you can do with Facebook pixel as well using Google Tag Manager. Um, so a little bit more advanced options but it overall it really depends on the goals you're trying to accomplish and basically the conversions you're trying to track. 
So if we come back over here again to custom conversions, there's a lot of different ways that you can track conversions through Facebook. So any type of conversion that is very important for your business, you want to make sure that you either have your partner integration set up properly so you can track things like ticket sales or purchases, or you create custom conversions when people visit specific pages on your website. So our Surfside PPC conversion tracks a couple different really important pages on our website. So a really simple process. And then all you need to do is if we click over here, we come to ads manager real quick. So let's say I go to campaigns, I go to create a new campaign. So now I'm creating a new campaign. My goal is conversions. So it's going to say conversion here. We're going to scroll down a little bit. We'll just keep the name conversions, click on continue. And then as you set up your ad set, you can choose your conversion right here. So it's going to say conversion and we have our website conversion, Surfside PPC conversion. So if we come back over here, you can see it's the same one we showed before. So now we're able to optimize our campaign specifically for those conversions. And if you set up any of the other conversions or the standard events, so they have some of the standard events here, view content, search. So if someone's searching things on your website. Um, and then if we scroll down a little bit, you can see purchase. So you can set up all these different types of custom conversions on your website. So we just have our Surfside PPC conversion here. So we would select that there and that's going to allow us to optimize for that conversion anytime we create a campaign. Now, just to show one more option here. So I'm still creating a new ad set. So if I did come over here to custom conversions and I created the ticket sales one, like I showed you before. So every time someone visits a specific URL that contains ticket sales on my website, so it could be surfsidepbc.com slash ticket hyphen sales. So it's going to be a conversion value of $10. So now Facebook is going to track each individual conversion as a $10 value. You can use different values depending on the types of tickets people are buying. Um, but if we come over here, and we come back to ads manager rather than optimizing for my Surfside PPC conversion that I always optimize for. If I click on the X here, if I scroll to the bottom, you can see there's ticket sales in here now. So now it's going to be a conversion value of $10 anytime someone buys a ticket. Okay. So now I can actually optimize my campaign for the specific conversion of ticket sales. So this is going to show us right over here until Facebook actually receives one of these conversions. So since I just set it up and since it's not actually a conversion on my website, Facebook isn't going to register this yet. Now, if I went to that URL, if I created the URL and went to it, then Facebook is going to register it. It'll turn green as active. So it'll have a last receive. Uh, for that specific conversion and then every time someone goes through my campaign and does buy a ticket It's going to register as a $10 conversion for my business. So pretty simple to set up conversions Now one of the more advanced options when you are setting up conversions is using some of these standard events You don't need to use these as often um, depending on your website, but if you are going to use them I'd highly recommend just contacting a developer because I would say they're a little bit more advanced features. Uh, so things like add to cart, search, initiate checkout. You don't need to use these if you're using Shopify or one of those other website providers. Just use the partner integrations and look at their own guides and you can set these up very easily. But if, for example, you're trying to figure out how to do a complete registration on your website, um, what you would want to do is set up standard events. So you're going to have to update your Facebook pixel a little bit. Um, there's a little, there's a few different guides on Facebook on how to do this. So here's one of their guides. So about Facebook pixel standard and custom events, I'll put this URL in the description for the video. Um, so standard events are predefined actions. They recognize and support across ad products. So you add them directly to your pixel code, and then you can log those standard events and then optimize for conversions and build audiences off the standard events as well. So what you would do is take your existing Facebook pixel code here. So you can see one right here. So, and then you would have to add this FBQ track and you would have to add add to cart. And then that would allow you to track every time someone adds something to their cart on your website. And you can use these for all the different standard events. Um, again, these are a little bit more advanced here. So I'd highly recommend reading up a little bit more about it. I'm not going to go through these in this video. I really just wanted to go through how to add the Facebook pixel to your website and connect your Facebook account with your existing partner that you're using for your website. So then you can easily track conversions and then how to create some different custom conversions so that when you are creating advertisements, you can optimize for your custom conversions as you create your ad set. So if you have any questions, any specific questions, please leave them in the comment section. I can try, try to answer them for your specific website. Hopefully this all makes sense. Thank you for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PBC YouTube channel.